Several early researchers made substantial contributions to the study of the brain functions by conducting research directly on the brain. Their efforts constituted the first attempts to determine the specific parts of the brain that controlled different cognitive functions. This work is significant for psychology, not only because it delimited the brain's specialized areas, but also because it refined the research methods that later became widespread in psychology. A pioneer in the investigation of reflex behavior was Marshall Hall, a Scottish physician working in London. Hall observed that decapitated animals would continue to move for some time when he stimulated various nerve endings. He concluded that different levels of behavior arise from different parts of the brain and the nervous system. Another researcher, a professor of natural science at the College of de France in Paris, involved systematically destroying parts of the brain and the spinal cord in pigeons and observing the consequences. The mid-19th century saw an introduction of the two additional experimental approaches to brain research, the clinical method and the electrical stimulation technique. The clinical method was developed in 1861 by Paul Broca, a surgeon at a hospital for the insane. Among the scientists attempting to map the brain from the inside was the German physician Franz Joseph. Considerable research on the structure of the nervous system and the nature of neural activity was also being conducted during this period. The Germans defined science broadly. Science in France and England were limited to physics and chemistry, which could be approached quantitatively. French and English scholars were skeptical about applying science to the complex human mind. Not so for the Germans, and they plunged ahead, unconstrained, using the tools of science to explore and measure all facets of mental life. Researchers were defining the structure and function of the nervous system and the senses. It was time to experiment with and to quantify this doorway into the mind. Techniques had been available to investigate the body, and now they were being developed to explore the mind. Experimental psychology was ready to begin.